welcome to Oscar Modeling. Welcome to this unboxing and review of the Ravel Level 5 Platinum Edition, Limited Edition, 172 scale search and rescue vessel called the Herman Marweed. I probably pronounced that wrong. So just to make sure I do it correct through this video, we'll just be calling it the search and rescue vessel. And as you can see, uh, this is way too big for my bench. And, uh, you can see the size of this box. This is all I can seem I can fit in as it's massive. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to put some photos up. We'll go through and have a look at a few photos of what I took of the the box, the sides of the box, and we'll go through uh, a little bit about this model and then we'll get that box opened up and have a look and see what we get inside. Okay, so just be back in a second, I'll put these pictures up. Okay, so as you can see, there it is in the box. I've had this pre-ordered for three months from Europe. I'm glad I got it just before Christmas, so that's good. So this is the updated with new parts version of the 2015 model. And as we'll see, there's quite an update when it comes to the parts, and what's included in this box. Um, what I'm going to do is we'll have a look at some of the photos I've, I've taken of around the box and um, look what it looks like. So you can see on the, the cover on the front is a really nice photo uh, picture of what the ship's going to look like. Um, it's actually celebrate, the release of this is to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the German Society for Sea Rescue. And it's estimated that since it was founded, that saved over 82,000 people. Now, there's a few other vessels uh, as part of the group, but this one is actually the largest search and rescue cruiser, and not just in Germany, but in the world. But before we start, I'd like to um, invite anybody who's seeing this video for the first time, you've just come into this channel, to um, subscribe and go back and have a look at the playlists of all the previous um, builds and uh, reviews and everything else I've got on the video. And um, also, uh, hit that notifications bell so you get notified of when videos get uploaded. And at the end of the video, uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. That will help with the YouTube algorithms. So let's get on with it. So if you notice the matchbox on there, that's just there as a size comparison. Give you an idea of just how big this box is. So in this picture here, we're looking at the uh, one seventy second scale. This is the size of the ship. So it's going to be 64 centimetres long and 32 centimetres. I'm guessing that's wide, even though it's Looks like it's high. I don't think so. I think it's actually that may actually be the height. I'm not too sure about that. We'll check that while we go through. And of course, almost a thousand parts. I don't think that includes the photo etch and brass parts that are also included with this. We've got metal parts. And these include 16 mast lamps or antennas three mast poles, two capstans, and the horn, light, hook, staff, rigging pole, and fire pipe. Um, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, and that's all the brass parts. And then, of course, there's all the photo etch, which includes the usual things like doors, there's windows, frames, ladders, uh, bridge protection, um, 
sections, got masts in there as well, caps and hatches, aerial frames, firefighting monitors, life rafts, and there seems to be two or three. We'll have a look when we get inside the box. Just go to the next photo. So there's a shot, a picture there, it shows you the mast and all the brass and photo edge up on that. Looks really nice. There's some other nice bits around on the deck there where there's going to be photo etch. This shot here just shows the kit number is 05198. Then we have some of the paints. Uh, there'll be more details in the box. As I, I thought, when I first thought this, I couldn't read it, but then I realised the really faint writing, which you may not may not be able to see. Uh, actually says in English, we recommend the following Ravel paints for basic painting. Um, there'll be more details inside. Uh, this shot is uh, looking at the back of the box. As it being the premium edition, all this photo etch is all added that was not part of the early release of the ship. And as it says here, designed for detail lovers. Um, because there is going to be amazing detail on this by the looks of it. Uh, this also shows uh, just the usual warnings uh, about small parts and um, and some detail on the photo etch sheets. And that's about it. So we'll come back to the bench now and uh, get this box open and see what's inside. Back in a sec, I'll just get the camera sorted. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's get this box open. I'll do this off camera. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, here we go. Right. What have we got here? Some instructions. Have a look at those later. Um, this is a bit awkward. You just see, but turn it this way. We've got the hull taking up a section of the box here. Right. So there's our decals. That should go over the top, but there's our decals there. That's obviously come off because it was just sitting on there, so. You'd think that would be in a plastic bag, but anyway. We'll take a better look at them after too. We've got some safety advice sheet. No problem with that. Let's have a look. This will go straight to the hull. Okay. So, as it says, this is... 64 centimetres long. There it is there. And it's looking quite all right. Just looking down there. there. Looks good. Put that back there. Right way. Certainly nicely packed in there, it's not going anywhere. Turn the box around again so we can see. Alright, so that all lifts out in one piece by the look of it. Move that away. Alright, what have we got? Lots of plastic in here. <laughs> that looks, looks like the launch boat. Okay. We'll, we'll come back and look at that. There's, you can see the props there. Some of the superstructure there. 
Oops. Not good. Uh, some clear parts. Lots of clear parts in there. So, there's two sprues in this bag. And I'm not sure what that is. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll take them out first and we'll come back and look at all these. So there's two bags. This one has, looks like it's got four sprues in there. I don't see any loose parts. But of course, this is a new model, so I guess it's I'm assuming that, that they would have packed those more recently. Anyway, right, in here we have another sprue with some small parts to it. Yep. Now we have a bag here with our brass metal parts, and those were all the bits I was speaking about with all the the mast and everything. Good bit of weight in those. Put those aside. Put the boat and put that away. So in here we've got another bag and here's our photo etch with our instructions for the photo etch in there. So we'll take a look at that. Um, I will get organized and just saw something on the floor, which was some bread. So I guess that's for some of the rigging. All right. Um, here we go. We'll have a look at the instructions. It'll be the best place to start. Okay. Let me just reposition the camera so we can see this clearer. All right, this is better. So, I'm not going to pronounce it. We're just going to call this the search and rescue vessel. Yeah. Uh, so, 2021 by Ravel. Printed in Poland. Uh, it's the world's largest ocean-going search and rescue vessel. And it's stationed in the North Sea island of Heligoland. There we go. Uh, the ship operates in conjunction with other maritime rescue units under extreme operating conditions. So I could imagine it would be quite uh, rough up there. Um, so we'll have a look over. So we go through the usual um, points of being careful is here we go it's a little key to what everything is so it's telling you how to cut pieces and, and sand off the nubs on the sprues um, how they're numbered and, and the order that you processed in the build um, there's some areas where you may need to use uh, uh, a peg or something or tape to hold things together. Uh, they're saying small parts to be held with tweezers and use a paintbrush. Anyway, um, symbols here, the usual standard for Ravel. We go over to, here we go, the paint call out. Uh, all Ravel paints. Quite a lot from white gloss, orange gloss, fiery red gloss, medium grey matte, ultramarine blue gloss, iron metallic, me aluminium metallic. And it goes through and there's a couple in here that are 80 to 20% mixed for a green and white gloss, probably to get the correct colour there. Another one there that's uh, for a red, brick red matte and a clear gloss that's interesting mixing those two together 
I guess that's uh, something I've never thought of, mixing a, a clear gloss and a color together. Then we go over to the sprues and we have a look at what we have. So let's have a look how many we have to start with. One, two, three, four. Um, even though it starts with sprue B. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven sprues. I think that's right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the and the hull itself, eleven. Oh, the hull is A. So there we go. <laughs> that's A. That's Okay, so that's good. That makes it handy to use this to find what you're looking for. Um, particularly with some of these, I'm looking at them over on my left here, they're as big as, as long as the box. So yeah, they're quite large sprues. So it's quite, you don't, the less you handle them, the more chance you've got of breaking something off or damaging them. But when you've got something like this, you can go direct to and go right, sprue G and go directly to that G. Uh, what I do too is I actually label the sprues because a lot of times you can't really see the lettering all that clear on them. Um, we'll have a look at them later, but um, you'll see what I mean. Uh, just makes things easy to reach for and grab. So we'll go through quickly the process here. Um, to start with, we've got from step one and it ends at step 79. It's quite a few steps. So, of course, these steps won't include the um, photo etch, which will be a separate lot of instructions to be um, done in conjunction with these as you build. So straight up, we're working on the hull. We're putting in the props, which go into the holes in the bottom, which we looked at briefly. Um, just grab it again. So... It looks like the props go into these here. So they must be to maneuver the ship uh, left and right. Interesting. Oh yes, and there's also on the rear here, we'll have props and shafts going in place on there. Again, this is something I do. I know other modelers do things different, but I usually don't put these things on because there's a chance they'll break off. But in this case, with how high this is, this may actually sit and be able to be worked on, um, giving enough clearance that these won't get knocked or damaged or broken off. That's something I do anyway. Otherwise, I would leave those propellers and stuff to the very end. Um, in most cases, you need to paint these props separately anyway, so it would be smart to at least leave them off, uh, whether they're done bronze or silver, I'm not sure of the colour, which we can have, have a look at. It said O, so letter O is uh, brass, so they're going to be brass. Okay, so again, we're putting in rudders under here, uh, for the um, boat on step three. This looks like, um, oh yes, four is telling you these little life raft containers and um, might have to, they're also putting decals as we go also on there. Um, some of the uh, work on the, I don't know what part of that is. <laughs> Figure it out. There's some bits on the side of the ship going on. There we go, already on step six and putting it on the stand. So it comes with two pieces for the stand. That would probably be a good idea if you want to make it easier to work with, work on. Um, and going on further here, there's uh, some parts of the outside the superstructure going on there. Uh, uh, like I said, this is you're seeing this the first time, just as I'm seeing it, and I have never built a uh, rescue vessel before, so a lot of this is new to me. So 
Now, this, this here is looks like where the um, launch boat comes off, off the stern of the ship here. There's some railings going on here, but they may actually get replaced with photo etch. So as much as I say these and these and these are going on, some things won't go on. They'll be replaced with photo etched. Or you need to add the photo etch at around the same time. We've got some more bits and pieces there. Railings on the other side going on here. Uh, lots of those bits that they tie the ropes off around. You know what they call you can put that in the comments. I should know, but <laughs> I don't. Uh, more of them on the other side. So we're basically seeing, you know, one side and another side for each stuff, each thing. Here we are at the back of the ship with the stern. I have to get that right. Stern, aft, port, starboard. I've got to learn all that. I should know. So there's that going in. There's some ladders going on here, which I'm pretty sure will be replaced with photo etch. Uh, there's more part of the um, probably the, yeah the main uh, superstructure I'd st I'd say you still call it on this size ship. Lots of little detailed bits. Uh, lots of stairs going in here. Like they say, it's for the person who enjoys detail, certainly got detail. Here we are up top where we're putting probably the um, uh, the bridge area. Yep, it's going down on top. Um, I did look at a review and um, they say that even though the bridge has a lot of windows around it, there's actually no detail inside. And I'm looking here and I'm just seeing that it's probably right. So inside the bridge area, there's nothing. And um, depending on, I, I'm assuming you could probably see through those windows. So maybe it's worth uh, doing a bit of scratch building and putting something in there that um, goes rather than just some empty void that it looks like it is. Here we are here with the helicopter landing part. On top, there's ladders getting done there. There's a section on the back here, which I think the helicopter or landing area will go on top of. Certainly cram a lot of stuff onto these boats for the room they have. Um, yeah, there it is all going on top there. More pieces here. There's a crane. That's probably to help lift the lifeboats off. I'm not sure. It's like a walkway building there. There's some water cannons, I'd say that'd be. Um, spotlights, searchlights. Lots of searchlights up on the roof. All the aerials, masts, which will definitely be photo etch. Yeah, definitely more of the mast area here. Yeah, lots of little bits of detail. More another searchlight up on there. This is the horn up the top. Ship's horn. Uh, more spotlights. And then we've got the separate launch boat there. That's all going together. Some windows going in there. So that's really good. It's got the driver's area, the engine in the back. A lot of detail in that. Uh, even the windscreen wipers that go on the windows, fit them on. I mean, that alone could be a model of it on its own. <laughs> um, apparently you can fit this. Uh, this will actually sit on the ship in its stowed position or you could have it separate if you're going to do it like a diorama or something uh, there it is so it shows it there so there's your helicopter area on top that would slide up in here this 
sits in the back and I guess that must be removable to be able to show the boat that's very good here we go all the decal uh, numbering show where all the decals go uh, some of the colors corresponding to the letters of the color so it's a color chart and also the color and decals for the launch as well and that's to step 79 all right so now i'm going to have a look we'll have a look at the decals might as well look at them here's our decals so they're not nice and bright okay, there's a few quite a few there so search and rescue so that should look good other side now we'll have a look at our photo etch Let's see it looks to me like they've got the they've just dropped this bag in there when they made it the platinum edition and that's all your photo etch and then of course they've dropped in the the brass as well um, i think that's the only difference um, that may be a new decal sheet too compared to the earlier version okay now first thing i've noticed is we've got a bend in the sheet here so i don't know how that's happened now it looks like all of them are bent and there's another bend here Let's open up this and have a look. I'll move this out of the way for a moment. All right. So there's some metal there. I don't know what that is, but it looks nice. <laughs> There, we've got some gold etch here. It looks like there's the window frames in there. Uh, there's the rescue symbol on there. Quite a lot of nice bits in there. Now these here, we've got one, two sheets, and you can see that the ends have bent up on this one. Let's have a look. Actually, I don't want to take it out because I end up getting fingerprints on it. But it looks like there's some, maybe they're like window surrounds of some sort that have been affected. But I don't think that's going to be any problem. Yeah, I'll be able to flatten that out. Um, no problem. Uh, this one, on the other hand, is bent in two places. Uh, I don't know what they are there. They are may, maybe doorways. I'm not sure what all those are. Now it's it's bent there at the end. You can see the bend in, up in the middle there. Quite thick metal too. It's not, you know, strange how that's happened. I don't know how that could have happened, particularly since it's here as well. So I'm guessing that may be like a grill from where the propellers are in the hull, in the side of the hull there. Yeah, I'd say that's what they are. And even though that's bent, that's not going to be a problem. I'll still be able to sort that out. But it is strange how something's done that. And the only way I can guess from the way that was in the box, um, it must have happened before it was put in the box. Um, yeah, because there's nothing that's going to come in contact like that. Anyway. Yeah. In fact, it definitely happened before it was put in the box because that one's not bent in that corner. Anyway, they're okay. It's not an issue. Put them back in here. 
don't want to lose them, including that one. And that one is probably the original that came with the kit um, before the Platinum Edition was made. All right, let's have a look at these instructions for Photo Etch. Um, and when Ravel add these, they do it in really good detail. So, like there's five pages. Open them up. Page one is this. So page one is showing us the photo which uh, spruce, yeah. All the numbers, uh, easy to find things. Here we go with all the brass, uh, the antennas, the horn, the light, fire pipe, antennas, lots of antennas, mast poles. There's the other little piece there. Over the page, page two. And you can see how clear these instructions are. They're really, really good. Um, everything's numbered clearly. You can see exactly what you've got to do. And what they do too, which I think is fantastic, is not only do they show you what it is you're building, like all the individual sections as you go down, but then they show you a picture of what it looks like when it's complete, when it's finished. Uh, and in place so so that looks really good again there it is there there's sorry you can see there's their little that and then you can see what it looks like on the ship there's a little hole that needs to be drilled down in there uh, yeah it looks looks really good um, twine so so some of this cotton here seems to be for around the side which is unusual some line running around there i don't know why that what that's meant to be um before anyway um so there's the ladders so definitely these ladders will be used rather than the kit plastic ones uh yeah in fact, it's actually using, by the looks of it, um, some of the kit parts. Oh, I see. So the railing itself is plastic, but you've got to cut that off and then make up the photo edge for the runs in the ladder. That's interesting. Um, there's some stuff for the railings around the ship as well. Those grills were for underneath. That's there. Then we go to page three. And lots of little detail parts through here. Look at the doorways on that. Look at that. Look at that. Even the little hand the handrail running across the door there. The little handle on there. The actual door itself. Much, much better than the plastic. Lots of detail in through the water cannons there. Little photo edge parts on that. I don't know what that is. Uh, railing around the, the stern of the ship, it looks like. Um, lots of bits and pieces all around here. That's actually showing what some of these completed pieces look like when they're put in place then we go to four wow look at the detail in that that's going to be fun to build so there'll be two of those really nice all that in there too it's like a winch a winch system they've got there using some more of that twine um, up on the bridge itself there's little rags that go around the bait the bottom of the windows there like sills and 
more parts on the looks like the water cannons not sure spotlights have photo etch around them as well part of the frames so we go onto the mast there's lots of pieces to come off showing you there it's all going to get replaced then we go over to page five this looks like lots of the mast with all this all the antennas all going in position and here they are so they've got a draw a drawing of where, what everything is and where it's all positioned and then you've got the actual, actual piece with everything on it so that looks really good you know if you had the money <laughs> i'd buy two of these kits and i'd build one painted and detailed like you normally would and leave the other one unpainted showing all the photo etch because <laughs> a lot of that gets hidden when you put paint over the top and here we have some finished photos on the page, page six that's all completed different views there all that in there looks nice and there's a picture of the boat so to build it and have it sitting there like that although it wouldn't be gray it'd be white this plastic's white um and all your photo which would be different <laughs> okay so I'll, I'll straighten things up here for a bit and we'll go and have a look at some of these sprues and the parts and back in a sec okay <coughs> excuse me so let's have a look at these sprues in no particular order um, this is sprue L which has the other little launch on it and it's quite a good bit of detail in that uh, even the hull there looks good some other bits and pieces for it there these little things here what we've got to be careful of especially in bags when they're all got extra more sprues in one bag it seem to be okay this one will be sprue M. You can see. Nice detail in that. That'll also be I'm guessing part of this launch boat. Yeah. Alright. Let's grab the next one. Okay, so here we have sprue F and it has some you can see some searchlights on there and, uh, you see they're all like one piece with the brackets on the side as well we've got uh, lots of um, reels here this could be the steering wheel for the ship or these big little wheels for other things very nice detailed stuff. I don't know what that's not part of that winch or something I saw go together. Some piping there. Uh, lots of piping down through here as well. Some of the life raft containers there. Some very small pieces on here too. Looks like a little wind vane on there. So we're going to be careful with some of this stuff. Um, this one is through uh, G. So yeah, this is G. So here's a it's like the the deck, I guess you'd call that, in the on the ship. There's some of the sides of the superstructure. You can see the portholes look quite good even to the point of having little markings around the side of them so that's going to focus probably not going to focus for me there we go that's a bit better yeah uh, maybe that's the roof of the heli where the helipad is uh, 
Not sure what that is. Looks like another little boat of some sort there. The sides of it there. Like an inflatable. That looks like an inflatable boat. Looks like part of the superstructure there as well. With the rivets and that. Um, the next screw. Back in a second. All right, so this one is screw K. I won't take it out of the plastic. You see that pretty well. It's another part of the superstructure there. Got the propellers or props there. Some small pieces there that could be broken. I'm not sure about that. I don't see anything loose in here. Maybe they're supposed to be like that. You can see what I'm looking at here. I might just open this one up and just check that. All right, so there's nothing loose in the bag. And... You can see these pieces I'm talking about here. So I'm guessing they're okay. But I will take note of that. Yeah, I think they're all right. But again, got to be very careful. That. Uh, put that back in the bag. Then I'll get the ones in the next bag. There's four in one bag. <laughs> I want to save on plastic. That's understandable, but having screws individually in their own bags makes all the difference, I think, of protecting them. Now, let's bring this big one up here. See the size of this. So look at this. This is the length of the box. And we've got at least like four screws in, in this one bag. I don't see anything loose floating around, so that's good. I'm thinking I probably don't want to take anything out of this bag. We've got railings in here. You can see on one of the screws. It's just that I don't think I'll be able to put them back in the way they... They've got them packed. Um, the stands are in there. And there's nothing loose. So that's good. There's the helicopter there, obviously with the H on it. Uh, here's some of the all the along the side of the ship there. I like how they the, these portholes have the bolt pattern around each hole. See that? Focus. It. There you go. Really nicely detailed. Yeah, I'm not going to open this bag. I'm going to leave this bag closed. Myself, get myself organised here. We'll come back. Okay, and the last two sprues here are sprue I and J, which are clear parts. And as we saw through the instructions, they're all the windows. Um, and there's another one there with also some small windows, which may be for that launch, a uh, little launch boat. Yeah. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so there we have it. The Ravel Level 5 Platinum Edition, Limited Edition, 172 scale. I'll try and pronounce it. The Herman Marweed, which is the German search and rescue vessel. All right. So um, I'm looking forward to building this. Um, and it's going to be really going to look nice i think <laughs> definitely going to look good uh, this is now available in australia 
So I've had this on order for about three or four months and it's finally come through. Now, where I purchased it from, they only had enough stock to fill the orders so they don't have any more available. So I'm not sure if anyone else in Australia has got one of these, um, but I'm pretty sure in Europe and other parts of the world it's going to be available much more readily. Um, I hope to build this, well, I will be building this in the new year. Whether or not it's the next one I do, we'll see. But uh, again, if you have any thoughts or any um, ideas or questions about this, um, please put them down below in the comments. Um, I always like to read the comments and, uh, and hear from everybody. Maybe you've built this before, uh, the earlier model, and you can give me some ideas. Uh, of any issues I might come across with the fit or anything like that because it is the same original 2015 um, plastic. It's just the photo etch and, and so forth that's, um, that's different and will make quite a difference. I think it's going to look really nice. Um, so please, if you're watching this for the first time, um, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell um this will go into its own playlist as it will be eventually become a, a build that i will video videotape but if you would like to go back and look at some of the reviews of the other ships i've built and uh all the build videos there's quite a few there now um you're welcome to and of course give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh and i'll i'll uh, i'll see you all in the next one okay thanks for watching bye for now